Hi kids, it's me again, Taylor. Welcome to Children's Time. Next up, Pastor Ravel. Hi kids, are you excited that it's Children's Time? I sure am. Thank you, Taylor, for our welcome. Well, next up, our interview with Brother IDK. Hi, Brother IDK. Hi. Hi. Well, during Old Town Live, could Pastor Phil, not the only one who can cut people off. So we'll uh, let's see what he was going to do today. Oh, I see he's going to interview a scientist today. Maybe it's me. Oh, well, not me, but it is a scientist. Dr. Hammond, well, I don't know about you, but I don't need to read any further. We all know who this is. This is the Hammond who made the organ. No, I did not make the Hammond organ. I'm Dr. Hammond. I'm a scientist. What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know why you said that. Because people say that all the time. They're scientists, but you got to go to school for that. I did. Where? I went to the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and I got my doctorate in biophysical chemistry, and now I am working on my doctorate in medicine at Meharry Medical College. What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know why you're on here during Black History Month, because if you didn't make the organ, am an organ important in the Black church? We have one here at Oakwood. So, so what are you, what are you studying or, or researching that's important to Black history? That's important to Black people. So, in graduate school, I studied large molecules called proteins, and these proteins are everywhere. They're in animals. They're in plants. They're even in the bodies of little boys and girls, and they're also found in viruses. And I study particularly the proteins that are in the coronavirus family. The brothers and sisters of the coronavirus that are around today. Well, it's important because that COVID thing very serious. But but I don't know how you can see proteins in COVID. Proteins are small. Yes, proteins are really really small. So we use really really big magnets and really really big computers to help us look at them. Well, even with magnets and computers, that it must have been really difficult. To find the proteins in COVID to help out against it. You must be really smart. Besides the fact that you went to UAB and I see you got your lab coat on from Harry. Uh, this is some difficult work. Yes, this work can be challenging. But if you take the time to study, you work hard and have patience, it's not that bad. You or even the boys and girls out there, they could one day do it as well. So... You worked hard and found these proteins in the COVID virus, but uh, I don't see how that, especially those black people. Black people particularly have been hurt by this pandemic, more so than other types of groups of people. And we don't want that to happen. We want to save as many black people as possible. And that's why I want to do work on the research side to find out answers to these questions about viruses, as well as work on the medical side as to actually provide the level of care needed to help Black people in their homes, in the hospital, and in the communities where they live. Well, that's really good. How are you trying to help the Black community? Praise God. Well, will, will any final thoughts you'd like to share with us? Yes, this pandemic has affected the life of your family, all the boys and girls out there, the entire world. And hopefully this work that I do and the work that I hope to do in the future can help stop viruses from affecting the world like this ever again. The more we learn about these proteins and how these viruses work, the better we're able to stop them before they even come into our homes. And we can save a lot of lives. Well, I do like the Hammond organ, but uh, Dr. Hammond, uh, what you shared is very important to Black people and very important to all people. And, and I want to say thank you. And I hope you'll come again. <laughs> okay. It was a lot of fun. Hope to see you again. Dr. Hammond out. Well, now 
with some of my poetry. Did I miss the interview with Dr. Hammond? I, uh, I think you did. But but anyway, you came just in time for my poetry. I don't know. I don't know. I'm Brother Ida K. And you know I flow. So don't go. Well, next up, some of your neighbors sharing Black history. Oh, it was Thomas Edison who invented the light bulb. I admire Louis Latimer because he added a carbon filament into the light bulb so it would last longer and he was a black man. Hello friends, my name is Anna Crawford. My favorite black history person is Harriet Tubman. I like Harriet because she helped to rescue the slave using the Underground Railway. She is known as the Black Notice. Hmm. Today, I felt like wearing my chaps and pearls. You know why? Because I'm Kamala Harris, the first black woman to be vice president of the United States. Thank you to each of you for sharing black history with us. And we will have more from other neighbors a little later. Well, we started off our Black History Month with Under Strings sharing how the Black National Anthem was originally a poem by James Weldon Johnson and was later made into a song by his brother, Rosamond Johnson. We had Under a String sing the first verse of Lift Every Voice and Sing. And we had our music kid, Janaya, to sing the third verse. And as you know, Under a Strings and Janaya did a tremendous job. We have featured the song Lift Every Voice and Sing because this song encourages us to worship God in song in the first verse. It recounts our struggle in the second verse and it prays God to help us to hold on and press forward to victory in the last verse. Well, next up, we will have several of your neighbors to sing all three verses. And I challenge you to listen to the call to worship, the description of the struggle, and the prayer for victory. Lift every voice and sing till the in heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the great faith the dark past has taught us. Sing a song Full of the hope that the present has brought us Facing the rising sun of our new day begun Let us march on till victory is won Stony the road we trod Bitter the chastening rod Felt in the days when hope unborn had died. Yet with the steady beat, how good are we feet? Come to the place for which our Father sighed. We have come over a way that when tears have been watered. We have come trading the path through the blood of the slaughtered. Out of the gloomy past till we now stand at last. Where the white gleam of our bright star is cast. God of our weary years. God of our silent tears, Thou who has brought us thus far on our way, Thou who has by Thy might led us into the light, Keep us forever in Thy path, we pray. Bless our feet, straight from the places our God when we met thee. Bless our hearts, drunk with the wine of the world we forget thee. Shadows beneath thy hand. May we forever stand true to our God, true to our native land. 
Awesome job, kids. Well, we just sang the Black National Anthem by two Black history figures, James and Rosamond Johnson. And now I want to ask, who knows about others who have made Black history? I see your hands. So success, who do you know about? And what do you know about that person? I know about Harriet Tubman. She escaped from slavery and she came back to rescue her family and friends from slavery. Thank you, success. Awesome job. I saw your hand, Maven. Who do you know about? I know about Rebecca Lee Crumpler. And what do you know about that person? Rebecca Lee Crumpler was the first African-American woman to be, become a doctor. Rebecca Lee Crumpler wanted to be a doctor, but other white people didn't want her to be a doctor. They didn't want her to be a doctor because she was black and she was a woman. But she did it anyway. She primarily helps African-American women and children who are poor. Thank you, Maven. Amazing job. I saw your hand too, Adam. Who do you know about? I know about James Armistead. And what do you know about him? James Armistead, he was a slave to a spy. He was a double spy. And he worked for this man named Marquis. And Marquis taught him how to go and spy on their enemies. And their enemies, they were the British and James Armistead, he spied on the British to get information and send it back to Marquis. And the American won the battle and the British lost. Thank you, Adam. Tremendous job. Well, it's time to acknowledge our birthdays. So let's see who has a birthday today and who will have a birthday by Friday. Ryan, Sumner, Jada, Sonali, Nava, Jaya. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. God has blessed you with one more. Happy birthday to you. birthday to all of you. Praise God. God has blessed you with another one. Well, it's time for our weekly giveaway for those who have registered in Oaktown. And I pick Tiana J. Congratulations. You will get your gift this coming week. We have come to the end of our Black History Month 2021, and we have one more special surprise. In our February newsletter, which is on our webpage, I shared that this month, children can send in a video tribute to African-American history and or culture using their talents. And we have one child to submit her first video to Oaktown. So here is Shantae singing a song that serves as a tribute to the African-American heritage of gospel music. The song is The Center of My Joy by Richard Smallwood. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment. You're the hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my God. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect. 
perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment. You're the hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my life. I will lift my eyes to the hills, knowing my help is coming from you. that an awesome performance and a, an amazing message and song? I love that song because Jesus is the center of my joy. Is Jesus the center of your joy? Praise God. Thank you, Shante. Well, just before we have prayer, I want to let you know that those of you who submitted your February videos after February 15th, we will try to show them at a later date, but no worries. Please read our newsletter on our webpage so that you can know what's going on in March and get involved in all the opportunities that are available. And please get your videos in by the March due date. Well, let's pray. Dear Father, Jesus is the center of our joy. And that's why Black history is such a great and ex inspiring experience. Thank you for how you have led us in our past. And thank you for how you are leading us now. May we never forget. Thank you for under strings and for all the children who participated this month. And may many others participate in March. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.